Well, hi, you guys. I hope you can chat with me tonight so I know you're here. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I am so happy to be here with you tonight. And I wanted to share with you some really fun stuff that I got for October, for decorating, for the autumn season, just for fun. So I really love this tulip glow in the dark paint. And it's really, really fun. So it's actually fabric paint. Okay. It's like puffy fabric paint that glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. And I was experimenting with it and actually did half of my pumpkin here. I'll hold it under here so you can see it a little bit better. So it's actually got um, dimensional and I did it on, this is a faux pumpkin. Okay. So it's, it's really cool. It comes out textured and it glows in the dark. How fun is that? So I did half of it because I wanted to experiment and show you guys how easy it is to use. So again, this is dimensional fabric paint, but you can use it on various surfaces. So this is a faux pumpkin. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the blue. So it's really easy to use. It's got a really nice fine tip. Can you see that? So that nice fine tip is just easy to control. It keeps things just easy to use. It doesn't clog the tip. So, and again, it gives you better fine motor, no matter what your ability is. Great for all ages and abilities, even if you have no experience at all. And I liked leaving the white behind it. So again, I'm gonna kind of rotate here and I'm just gonna squeeze it gently. I'll follow the lines of the pumpkin here. And you could just do any designs that you want. Can you see that? All right, I got a glare. I want you guys to be able to see it, okay. And so that was the blue, the tulip blue. This one's my favorite. Look at how pretty that is. So that's the pink. And again, you could do squiggly lines. I'll just do another line right here. See how easy it is to use? You could just do follow the lines of the pumpkin. You could do wavy lines and I'm just squeezing very lightly. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna bump into it because again, it's puffy paint. So it's pretty thick. It's gonna dry overnight. But here I like smudged it. Do you see that? So if you smudge it, you can wipe it off or it can become part of your design because no one knows your mistakes but you and whoever you tell. So you guys could have just thought that that was part of my design. And I'm just telling you that it was a mistake, but that's okay. So again, really easy to use. Nice fine tip that you just gently squeeze. And it's got all these fun colors. Easy to screw on cap. And I'm going to use the, this is called yellow. I'm going to use the yellow one next. All right. And again, it doesn't have to be on a pumpkin, but it, it's made, it says fabric paint, but you can use it on anything. I wouldn't probably use it on a real pumpkin because it's too shiny and slick and it probably would come right off of it. So, but this is great on a faux pumpkin. I'm going to do another squiggly line right here. Can you see that? Now, if you guys want to see all of the products, come on over to artistheart.live. That's where I am on Amazon. I'm streaming at various platforms right now, but it is Amazon Prime Days. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the sales stuff that I have found um, and if you're on Facebook, it's also in my shop on my Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party. So you can find it in the shop as well. And today, you guys, it's on sale for $10.99. So you get all of these colors. Let me put the yellow one back. So you get six colors. All right. And then this one, this is glow in the dark. This is the natural. So you get the natural, the blue, the pink, the yellow, the orange, and the green. So this is 
puffy fabric paint, but you can use it on anything. Okay. And I just stuck my finger in it. So, um, woohoo. <laughs> you see that? Okay. Yes, you can see that. Of course you can. It was so funny the other night. I have to tell you guys that I used this and I did wash my hands before I went to bed and my, <laughs> there were a couple of places I must've missed the paint and my hand was glowing in my bed. It was so funny. I was like, Oh my God, that's so funny. So it does glow in the dark. I can show you. So I have right now, I've got a couple ring lights going on and an overhead light. Um, and now I just lost my remote, but when I find my remote, I'll shut the light off and you can, Oh, here it is. All right. So you can probably see it a little better with one of the lights off. Let me see. Can you see it glow a little bit? I don't want to shut too many lights off because then you guys won't see me at all. But again, the other night I had it on my fingers and my fingers were glowing. So this is great for arts and crafts, great for all ages and abilities. Um, the tip is really fine. So it's really easy to use, especially for little details, easy to draw. And really all you have to do is get a faux pumpkin. Okay. And I have the faux pumpkins also on my Amazon page. So you get a faux pumpkin and I wouldn't even draw out your design. You just have fun and create some patterns and designs on your faux pumpkin. You can paint a face. So I used acrylic paint to paint my face on. All right. You can use acrylic paint and let it dry. There is no glow in the dark black paint here. So these eyes do not glow in the dark. They're just black, right? But all the other paint glows in the dark. So then, again, you don't even have to have a face. You could just have it be the white part and then start your designs. So you can use the ridges of the pumpkin for the lines if you want, or you can create your own little designs. Up to you. All right. And if you're with me, say hi. I love when you guys say hi to me. So I have someone to chat, someone to chat with. All right, you guys. So this again is the Tulip Puffy Paint Glow in the Dark Paint and it's $10.99. Great for arts and crafts. Great for anything. Great for decor. All right. So I used, I already used the pink and the yellow and the blue. Let's try, let's try orange. We have to have orange on our pumpkin, right? There's so many different colors of pumpkins now though. You can get blue pumpkins and white pumpkins and orange pumpkins. All right, so let's just do, I'll do, um, I'm trying not to get the glare. So let's just follow the line of the pumpkin. Can you see that? That pretty orange. You could do polka dots. Excuse me, I felt that sneeze coming. Oh my goodness. And this has no odor. I promise you that. I do actually have allergies and I am really sensitive to smell. So I will tell you that this has no odor at all, which is really, really nice. So I'm a certified art teacher and I love to experiment with new products. And this I'm just having so much fun with. So I just added these little, I'm going to put it under here and see if you guys can see it. Can you see those little designs there? Look at that. So you could do little patterns, little designs, and it does dry with texture. So it is dimensional, you know, as you squeeze it and then you just, you just have to leave it. You just have to leave it alone. Okay. And let it dry so that it doesn't smear. So I'm going to go back to my comments. You guys can chat with me and say hi to me. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. You guys, we're streaming on various platforms right now. And I'm trying to share with you this really cool tulip glow-in-the-dark puffy paint. It says fabric paint, but you can use it on different um, things. So I have a faux pumpkin here, and I was just creating different designs on it. So... I am going to do, I have this one. This is natural. This is just the glow in the dark. So it's just like your traditional glow in the dark color, which is glow in the dark. It's called natural. <laughs> 
So probably won't show up great on my faux pumpkin. I'm going to put it on here just so you guys can see it. It looks white. See that? It almost looks like white glue. But that's just your traditional glow-in-the-dark color. And that's the tip of it. And then these caps are super easy to go on. Easy to go on and off. <laughs> so Scott says your faux pumpkin is very scary. <laughs> it's really scary too when I don't get all of the glow in the dark paint off my fingers and then I go to sleep at night and my fingers are glowing in the dark. So thank you very much for making me laugh. Uh, I don't want to make a scary pumpkin. I want to make a fun, cute pumpkin. So I hope you're not scared. Right? With my faux pumpkin. All right. There you guys go. So, again, you can leave it just designs. I'm going to have Scott create a very scary pumpkin. Scott's actually a very good artist. I will tell you that behind me, I have various pumpkins. And this one over here is a beach glass project created by Scott. <laughs> Not a scary pumpkin. Took a lot of patience. My mom and I also have a um, supply list for the beach glass project. So you guys can check out artistedheart.org on my blog. It tells you how to make, make beach glass. And then I have all the products tagged on Amazon so you can get them and make it yourself. So this one right here is again a beach glass. I should hold it up. Let me hold it up. My mom keeps trying to get it. She wants it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you guys can make a beach glass one. A lot of people like to collect their own seashells or maybe you collect sand from your favorite beach. So maybe the sand is from Captiva and the seashells are from the Florida Keys, right? And again, you can collect your own beach glass or you can also buy it. So if you're on Amazon, you can look up sea glass and you can get various colors and shapes and, you know, different amounts and uh, glue it with special glue. I use a, a tacky glue so that it could hold heavier products on there. But anyway, I, sh I really want to talk about, and I didn't add anything glow in the dark, but I just thought I would share with you because this is a really, really fun project. You guys can sign up also for free art projects in the description. I put the link in there. And if you guys are not on Amazon right now and you want to come over to Amazon, so it's Amazon Prime Day, the Tulip Paint is 15% off right now. So it's $10.99 and you get six colors. So you guys are going to get the green, the orange, the yellow, the pink, the blue, and the glow in the dark color, which is really cool. And just create anything. So even though it says dimensional um, fabric paint, so that's what it says, dimensional fabric paint, but you guys can use it on anything. Okay. You can use it on fabric, but you can also use it like on a faux pumpkin or something else. So um, anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys with the faux pumpkin. And I am going to do more art stuff. So that was just really, again, if you guys have any questions about the products, let me know. These little bottles are 1.25 ounces. The colors are beautiful. It's washable. Um, of course, once it sets, if you guys are doing fabric paint, once it sets on your shirt and dries, it's going to be permanent. But it does wash off your hands, okay? So anyway, it's really, really pretty, nice, good quality. And again, it's Prime Day, you guys. All right, let's see what else is special today. All right. So I'm going to move on from the tulip paint, okay? Because that's fun. I'm going to move my pumpkin out of the way. And I'm going to move on to another one of my favorite paints. And that is Apple Barrel. And I'm going to share with you the jack o lantern because we're going to do... Pump, today we're featuring pumpkins, okay? Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. So we are going to do, how about you guys want to do a pumpkin painting? All right. So I'm going to use Apple Barrel paint. I'm going to use the Jack-O-Lantern. I'll use some green, some new shamrock. And I'll use like a little nutmeg brown. So really simple, simple colors. You don't have to have a lot. 
I'm going to set aside our glow in the dark pumpkin. And usually, you guys, when I'm using um, a palette, I'm just using a plate. Okay, so I usually just squirt a little bit of paint on there and start creating. And today I'm going to use paper. And it's up to you if you want to go right into the painting or if you sketch it out. Okay, so right now the apple barrel paint is 15% off. You get a whole set. What do I? If you click on it, you'll see it's a bunch of colors. You get the whole kit and caboodle. So everything that you need. Now, again, for this particular one, I'm just going to use three colors. We're going to keep it simple. Although I love, I love bright magenta. You can make you can make your pumpkin bright magenta if you want to. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the magenta out of there because we're going to stick to our traditional pumpkin. Okay. So we're going to use jack-o'-lantern, nutmeg brown, and shamrock green. Okay. So I am going to sketch it out first. So again, I'm just going to do a little pumpkin. And you guys can make your pumpkin have a sketch of it here. Just so I don't lose you guys. All right. So here's my little sketch of a pumpkin. So I'm going to do my pumpkin more wide than tall. So I'm just going to sketch it out. Almost like, look at this. See how it's like the letter C? Okay. And now I'm going to do that on the other side. So a sketch is a bunch of lines. And then I'm going to add a little dimension to it. So I'm just going to put like that up there and some little humps over here like that. And we can just erase the lines that we don't want. And I want to do a stem. So see this? And again, you could put another little hump in there, ridge, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what they call it. I guess a ridge would be a good word. And then you could add the stem in here. And then you would just erase, see, you would erase this line in here. Erase the lines that you don't want. That's what a sketch is. So when you do a sketch, it's a bunch of little lines, and then you just get rid of the things that you don't want. What do you think? Is that a decent sketch? All right, and you can put like a little table here, like that. All right, and again, once you get your pumpkin to where you like it, you can erase some of the lines, you can erase all the lines. What I like to do after I get it sketched out, I like to trace it with Sharpie. So I'm gonna use a fine point Sharpie right now because I'm gonna paint over it. And I'm using textured paper. So that's where you see the little bumps like that. Sometimes I like to use the texture paper because it adds a little dimension to my artwork. I'm gonna make my stem go into that like that. And then again, you could do those little Ridges like that, like that. What do you think? Is it getting cold where you guys are? It's cold here in Cleveland. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, not real cold, not like it's going to snow, but you know, when it goes from 80 degrees one day and then the next day it's 50, it's cold. Right, I'm just not ready for it. Okay, so that looks a little funny, doesn't it? 
So don't worry if you make a mistake. Okay, it's not a big deal because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with paint so no one's going to know. Shh, it's our secret. Okay, <clears throat> so what I do is I just take a little bit of my paint, give it a little shake. So I'm using Apple Barrel. I'm going to go back to the Apple Barrel paint if you're watching me on Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my... The Apple Barrel, you guys, is 15% off. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint in my pumpkin. Okay. And you can paint over, watch, I'm going to paint right over my mistake. I can paint right over my lines. I'm going to leave my stem there. Say so paint right over my lines and you guys can layer it. And if you want more of your lines covered, you could add a second coat. So the more layers you add, the more opaque it's going to be. The more transparent you want it to be, you could actually even water it down. So if you water down acrylic paint, it'll be more like a watercolor consistency. Acrylic paint is probably my favorite, although I've been using some watercolors lately and they're fun too. So again, what I love about acrylic is it's very forgiving. Like you can hide all your mistakes. No one's going to know. And I'm going to, I'm just going to make this a little bit rounder here. My pumpkin looks a little squatty. And you could do a tall version. You could do it. See it. Look behind me. See the tall guy. You could do a tall guy. You could do a short guy. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Mr. Scott. Faux pumpkins would be really good for little kids because there's no carving, just painting. That would be a great activity for adult kids, groups, teachers. Definitely a good idea. I'm not a fan of carving pumpkins because, you know, I'm not always the most safe and I don't enjoy cutting myself at all. I like the candy part. I like eating pumpkin seeds. That's the best part of a real pumpkin is eating pumpkin seeds. But I, I don't enjoy carving them at all. And when people do those really intricate designs, it's amazing. I mean, I'm really impressed by that. How's that pumpkin look? Still squatty or better? I can make it a little bit longer here. But I am always impressed with, I mean, that's, I think it's definitely an art form to be carving intricate pumpkins. All right. So now that was my jack-o'-lantern apple barrel paint. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a smidge of green. So I'm going to use the sh new shamrock. Okay. That wasn't me mate, that made that sound. That was my new shamrock. All right, so I'm doing the stem green. Now I think, you know, kids would probably really like this look, but I feel it looks a little too, you know, kind of kitty or raw. Uh, maybe just too cartoony. That's a good word for it. Now I want to show you something. You can always look at, so you could tell I didn't even wash off my brush. Okay. You could always add a little green into the orange and you're going to get an interesting color. I'm going to blend it in a little bit more. I love mixing colors. It's going to turn almost like a tan. See that? Now, I can also put some brown in it as well. I can do that too. So I think if I add the brown to it, it's going to give it a more rustic look. Let's give me a little. This is called nutmeg brown. 
nutmeg brown. <laughs> and Mr. Jack says, get the blue crayons out. Hi, Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack loves his blue crayons. All right. So see the difference when I add a little brown in there? And I can mix a little brown over here. So it's going to give it a little bit more of a rustic look. I can even add a little brown into my green. See that? I don't like this light right here. I'm going to blend it in more like that. And when I paint, you guys, my brush stroke is going in the direction to give it a little dimension. You see that? And you can now see the texture on the paper. And I can even add a little bit of white in there to give it a little highlight. And if I don't like it, I can always add a little bit more orange to it. I'm gonna soften up that black line there too. And then, so this way, my brush stroke is gonna go in the opposite direction. You see that? I'm thinking it kind of looks like a tomato, but I want it to be a pumpkin. It's pumpkin painting, not tomato painting. All right. See that? It's starting to look like a, a pumpkin, right? Maybe I fix the bottom of it a little. The bottom should probably be a little darker. Give it a little dimension. So I'm putting a little bit more of that brown. How's that look? Better. And you can see a pumpkin in the back is I have one white and blue and orange. So again, you guys can make it any colors that you want to. The color looks a little different. I'm going to hold it up. Did you think it was bigger than that? It's an illusion, right? Because it's down here like this. But the color looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit browner under this light right here. But I thought it would be really fun to do, maybe the, the table could be purple. Uh, let's see. And if you guys, again, if you guys want printable templates and step-by-step -step art lessons, check out my website. I do have a link for free access if you guys Go to artistatheart.org. Usually I just use a styrofoam plate or a paper plate when I am doing um, like a palette, okay? And the paper that I'm using, I'm going to highlight it real quick just so you guys can see it. I hope I put it in my cart. So this paper that I'm using is, um, oh, it's on sale. So it's... Uh, you get 48 sheets and it's, they're actually postcards, but they're so cute and so fun to paint on. So they're postcards. So on one side, there's a line if you want to mail it to somebody. Can you guys see that? And, um, but they're just really, really fun to paint on. Nice, thick paper. They don't warp and it's by Gravy. So Gravy also makes these awesome watercolor paints that I'm going to show you guys. Now there, this one is, um, I, it's in the pink box. I have it highlighted. So it's on sale for 1019 for 48 sheets. That's a great deal. All right. And again, you could do them for each season. I have a few more. Actually, I didn't even paint this one yet. This one has pumpkins and sunflowers on it. We can do that one next. And I do like to write like a word. You could put thankful. You could put, um, whatever you want. You can write whatever you want. And I would I have one where I painted the table. It's around here somewhere. 
here's another one. So this one, I want to show you guys the difference between, so this is acrylic, right? This is watercolor. And you can always make the watercolor more opaque, again, by layering it. But I did this one with the gravy watercolor, and this is with the apple barrel paint. So real quick, I'll make another one, because I want to show you guys these gravy. Here, I'll put this here. Maybe you guys can, or I can put this one here. We'll leave them all here. How's that? And you know what I forgot? The water. How am I going to do a watercolor painting? You do have to have water for your watercolor painting. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this, I'm going to find my gravy. My gravy. So these, you guys, are on sale for $31.99. Oh, I shouldn't say prices, but they are on sale. Because by the time you watch this, it probably won't be. But look at this. Oh, my God. Those gorgeous, gorgeous colors, right? So this is watercolor paint. I am going to move these so you guys can see the colors. Look at that. How pretty they are. Okay. So there's 100 colors. And that's my um, watercolor paper. Oh, I can use. So this comes. Uh, yay. Since I forgot my cup of water. These come with the set, the watercolor set. These are so fun to use. So these little pens and you add the water inside of them, okay? So it just unscrews, you put the little tap water in there and then you have these fun bristles. I'm gonna show you. You just unscrew it like that, look at that. You see that bristle? And like the kids, so I was an art teacher in Cleveland for 20 years. Like the kids hated when the watercolor paint had a color on top of it. You literally just take your brush and smudge it around like this. So what I'm going to do is gently squeeze the water to get the paint activated, right? Because the paint is a solid, but it's watercolor. So you need to put a little water in there. See that? All right. And then you can start. Oh, I forgot to go over with Sharpie, but that's okay. We don't need Sharpie line for this one. See that? So again, watercolor paint is a little bit more transparent than the acrylic. That's a really pretty color. But look at all these colors. We have so many options. This is a little bit more of an intense orange right here. I do like to, you know, maybe change the colors in between the ridges or you can blend them. See that? Really easy to use. Again, this is great for, I would say, I would say ages 10 and up. I, I probably wouldn't give this set to a little child only because there's a lot of colors and they're, you know, kids are not real familiar with how to use watercolor paint. This is definitely an advanced set. So if your child or you, you know, really enjoys watercolor. This is a great set. All right, let's try this. How about this color right here? They're all beautiful colors. I mean, you just have to experiment. That's really fun. And then let's see, maybe the last one. What color do you guys want me to use? So this is really, really fun. Well, hello, Mr. Richie. Thanks for joining us. Mr. Richie is a teacher too. So yes, these watercolors are really, really fun. Richie has painted with me several times, but he has never used watercolor paint, right? Always acrylics. We've used acrylics a lot. So at my paint parties, you guys, I teach paint parties. I use acrylic paint. So I think this is fun because you could see all these different oranges that you can experiment with. Now, I don't, I'm not fond of the bottom of my pumpkin. I might have to kind of bring it a little. Maybe I put a little brown in there too. 
Sorry, it takes me a minute to see your comments. I'm not always looking at the comments. So probably by the time I'm responding to you guys, you guys are in bed asleep or watching something else. <laughs> watching somebody else instead of me, which is okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to move on to the sunflower. So let's find a really nice bright yellow. How about, so these, they also have these like neon colors. All right. So they have like opalescent colors. This is a really good color. I'm going to try this one. So I just give it, give my brush a little squeeze. You can also use regular brushes. I'm going to let this dry. So I'm going to work my way over here. Look at that beautiful yellow. Now I didn't even erase my pencil lines, but you guys can, if you want. All right, let's see if this is dry enough over here. Yep, see, it's not bleeding together. Real, let's try this later one. Because you want to have a little contrast from your sunflowers to your pumpkin, right? So yeah, I'm loving this little set. A war, as Richie says, go for a Warhol, a Warhol pop color sunflower. So Andy Warhol loved his colors and he did use like neons too. There's an awesome Andy Warhol art museum in Pittsburgh, which is where Andy Warhol's from. And of course I've been to it. It's spectacular. So if you're into the arts and you're close to Pittsburgh, I highly recommend you checking out Andy Warhol Museum. All right, so now I am going to, and that's the fun part about being live when you guys chat with me. Okay, so let's see. Someone says, please put a link on your Facebook page to get the watercolor paint set you're using. All right, you guys. Now it, here's where my technology comes in. All right, give me a second and I will get, so I am using, I'm going to find it. Okay. I'm using uh, Graby watercolor. Someone's asking for the link to it. So give me a second. If you're, so I'm streaming live on Amazon. And I am also streaming live on YouTube and Facebook. And when I'm on Amazon, you guys can see all of the stuff in my cart. But when you're on a different platform like Facebook, I try to get you. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on here right now. I hope you guys can see it. So these are my I'm going to post it on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, these are the watercolors I'm using. They're called Gravy. And they come with these awesome pens. Okay. So that's part of the kit. So this is it. So if you're on Facebook, there you go. Now you guys can also come on over to Amazon very easily. Hold on. Now I got to find out where I'm at. <laughs> Woo, this technology. All right. I'm going to put up a banner real quick. So. You guys, if you're on Facebook or watching on YouTube, you can come on over to artistatheart.live. That'll bring you over to Amazon. So the thing on Amazon is it I can tag all the products. So I have this here. I'll hold up my, my phone. So here I have my phone here. So like anybody that's on Amazon that's chatting with me, I can, I can see it here. But on the bottom, there's a cart. And the cart has all the products that I'll be talking about. So it's just easy to shop on Amazon, especially on Prime Day, if you're on Amazon with me. So I am on um, artistatheart.live if you want to come over to Amazon. And you can still watch me on Facebook. But thank you very much for asking for the link. Because if I was really organized, I'd probably have all the links to everything that I'm using ahead of time. But I'm lucky I came on. I'm lucky that I'm here. <laughs> I was I was kind of ready to go to bed because you know what? It's dark at six o'clock and they haven't done the chime change yet. I mean, come on, really? 
seriously. So today it was a really cold, well, really cold, like 50. I shouldn't complain yet because, but uh, it was dark really early. And, you know, when it's dark so early, I want to go to bed. I want to put my flannel pajamas on and and um, play on my phone. <laughs> right? So I'm just experimenting here with my sunflowers. But I was like, no, 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 I'm going to go. It's Prime Day. They, they have awesome sales. And you guys, I have to be honest with you. I don't know what's going to be on sale. And I don't know how long it's going to be on sale. So like, I was like, oh, the gravy is on sale. So I was like, oh, I need to go live. And because again, I really, really am enjoying this. Now, again, I would not do this with a group. I would not use watercolor with a group, but I definitely would do it with like a couple people. Because you just have to play with it and experiment. All right, let's do the other sunflower. Let's do this sunflower. And you can put some black in there to give it some contrast. Sunflowers and pumpkins go great together. If you're going to do a sunflower and pumpkin painting, you could keep it up all of November. I know I'm one of those people too who want to start decorating for Christmas. And somehow Thanksgiving gets the short end of the stick. A lot of November I have like both. I have, I still have my pumpkins and sunflowers up and I have, I start decorating for Christmas because it's so fun. I mean, I think a, people, people had their Halloween stuff up in August. Did you guys see that? So, so Richie says, Ooh, that's like a rusty red for the sunflower. I like that color. Oh, Richie, you got to come back and paint with me. All right, so let's see. Richie is in Kentucky. And I want, so I think that the stem looks better brown because it doesn't look so, I'll show you. I'll actually, I'll do a green. See it, it I because I'm using a dirty brush, but it just looks more rustic when it's got the green. If you guys follow me on Amazon, you'll get notifications when I do live classes too. So I'm sure, Richie, I think you got a notification, right? I'm guessing that's how Richie knew in Kentucky that I was live in Cleveland on Amazon. <laughs> it is fun. It's fun when you guys talk to me. Here, let me take that down. <laughs> it makes it way more entertaining for me too when you guys chat with me oh let me go back to the comments and make sure that did you guys get the link Oh, wow. So Richie said he got notified on Facebook, YouTube, and Amazon. That's awesome because Richie is following me. Thank you very much, Mr. Richie. All right. And again, you know, it makes me feel like I'm not sitting here by myself when you guys chat with me. So what do you guys think about what color should I put down at the bottom? And should I add some black? I'm thinking I'm going to make a little bit more dramatic here in the sunflower. What do you think? See how it just gives it a little more dimension here. You could always outline it a little bit. Let's see what happens if I, if I outline my pumpkin. Do you like it outlined? Or you like it not outlined? Because, you know, it'll give it a little bit more definition with having the sunflower against the pumpkin because the colors are similar. Oh, 
Oh, maybe some corn, huh? Put some corn at the bottom. Hmm. I was just thinking like a purple table. Or you could do it like a red and, red and white just reminds me of summer. So if I did a red and white checkered tablecloth, I, I would think of a picnic, right? Let's let's put some darker lines in here. So Richie's birthday is coming up. Richie is going, oh my goodness. Richie's going to be 26 on October 13th. This is his birthday shout out. Happy birthday, 26 year old. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. All right. So if you guys are following me and you know who I am, Richie is my nephew. And Richie during COVID would help behind the scenes, right, Richie? You would help behind the scenes with a lot of the live classes. So Richie is uh, really good at painting with me and good at technology. I would, he did help me quite a bit, again, during COVID with all the technology and behind the scenes stuff. So I never did anything online before COVID, like so many other people. Uh, I was a Cleveland art teacher for 20 years, and then I started my own paint party business. And of course, like everything else, it got shut down. And so I decided to go virtual, and I started doing online art classes. And we all learned together. And I do think that um, I'm still learning, <laughs> right? I'm still learning. Actually, I was going to go live earlier today and I was having some tech. Oh, look at that. That's brown. I was going to let me switch because I forgot my water. I'm just going to switch my brush because I was thinking purple table would look good. So. Um, does that look purple? I kind of got my brown in there. OK, that's mucky. That's a mucky color. I need a paper towel. But that's OK. It doesn't matter, you guys. We're just having fun. So, so yeah. So ever since COVID, I've been doing like live stuff and online classes. And I and I'm getting back to my paint parties, not like they used to be. But I did a lot of corporate stuff, and a lot of corporate people are not even back in the office. They're just um, still working from home, which is great. See how I fixed my mistake? I just was like, okay, that, that mucky, it looked like a puddle. It was like a puddle color. That's why you just have to keep experimenting. And again, you could put a word on it. You could be grateful, thankful, blessings. All right. And, you know, again, you can leave the background. I probably would leave it. I was thinking maybe of doing a light blue, but I'm thinking now I'm just going to leave it. All right. So that is the gravy. Now, I want to show you guys also these awesome paint brushes. I got a little, I got a little gnat flying around me because of all the lights I have on. That's gross. <laughs> a little fruit fly. Ugh. All right, Richie. Thanks for joining. Good night. Off to bed. You know what happens when you're 26? You got to go to bed at 918. <laughs> I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. It's 918. All right. Let me see if I can find something else to share with you guys. Hmm. Here we go. All right. So these paint brushes are really, really nice. So these are the gravy watercolor paints and these are the gravy watercolor paint brushes. Okay, it comes in a set like this. Really good quality. And even though I'm using watercolor paint, I also use these with 
acrylic. So earlier tonight I was doing an acrylic painting and I used the gravy paint brushes. So these, you guys, uh, prime day deal there. This has a really good deal too. So these are gravy. They come in these different sizes and they're really good quality paint brushes. Okay. So they come in the set. You have all these different sizes. They're all pointy. Can you see that? They all have, so that's called a round tip. When you have a paintbrush that looks like that, that's called a round tip. Okay. And I'm going to put them back in here. These are dry. These ones are wet. So I can go back in. Actually, let me use, because this is still wet. So I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to move this one and I'll bring this guy back. How about that? I'll bring this guy back. Can you guys see that? Let's move that. Oh, did I not show you? So this is the gravy set, or the watercolor paint. Look, it's got the little clip. It's awesome for travel. Take it with you. Okay. Close it. Good to go. Look at it. It's so cute. I just love this thing. Okay. So this is the gravy watercolor set that's on sale today. And these are the gravy paint brushes. Now I already showed you that the set comes with these three really fun watercolor brushes. These are really, really good quality paint brushes. You get nine of them. Okay. And that's gravy. And I'm going to, and you can use watercolor or you can use acrylic. So I'm going to show you guys, actually I'll put this here so you can see it. And if you want the link, let me know. And I will get you the link to that too. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. All right. And so let's try, how about some highlights? Okay. So I have my, my gravy brushes. I'm going to use this. So this is a round paint brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of white and I'm going to highlight my pumpkin. Right now I could, if I wanted to mix, mix a little orange in there and just make it a light orange highlight. like that. So like if you add a white highlight and you don't like it because it's too much, you can just go right over it. Like that. All right. And then let's try some here. Maybe I put a little highlight right here. Do you like it highlighted? And then I could put a little bit more green in here. When it's white, you get that glare. Then how about, I was going to do a purple tablecloth. I don't know what to do with my purple paint. I could do black. Black or purple, what do you guys think? I think black. Black is Halloween, right? We'll do black. Are you guys ready for Halloween? Are you ready for Thanksgiving? I love Halloween candy. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Mine will always be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. See that? That's my table. What do you think? Do you think just like the dark bottom? I was looking for purple, but I'm, it's probably on the floor. 
<laughs> All right, so there. And again, if you want, you could add a little details, background, whatever. All right, and so those are the gravy paint brushes. I also have, so I have a, I have so many different paint brushes, you guys, because I paint all the time and it depends on what I'm doing, but I want to show you another set that I have here. So I'm, I'm going to set that aside, set that aside, set that aside, all this stuff I got, I got a nice little mess here. All right. So this is, let me find it first to highlight it. So this is a nice set of paint brushes. I'm going to sneeze again. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Live. There you go. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys are these awesome paint brushes here. It comes in um, a case. All right. Now this is a different type of paintbrush because you have a fan paintbrush, you have round tip, and you have flat tips. So you have a variety of paintbrushes here. So again, this is great for beginners. Um, I like them. I would say professional people probably need a little bit better quality. I mean, these are good quality, but again, I would say, you know, they're great for beginners or intermediate. Um, really nice case, easy to travel, great to keep you organized. It's 81% off. Snatch this up. So you guys, it's 81% off. It's normally $79.99. Today is $14.99. I forgot. I'm probably not supposed to talk about the prices because they're going to change. And again, I don't know how long this stuff is good. I didn't even know before today what's on sale. And then tomorrow, other things are going to be on sale. So I can't tell you the same stuff is going to be on sale and I can't tell you for how long because I just don't know. So I wanted to do a live because a lot of the stuff that I have here is on sale. And of course, I didn't get it at these awesome prices. So um, I would say if you're interested at all, snatch it up. You know, they have the best return policy too. So um, yeah. All right. So these are the paint brushes. They come in this really cute case. It has a zipper. You can tell I've been using it because it has paint on it, right? But it's great for travel, great to keep you organized. I need all the organization help I can get. I'm going to open it back up and lay it down so you guys can see all the different brushes that it comes in. Just always wash your paint brushes with gentle soap and water and then lay them flat on a towel to dry and you're good to go. Like mine right here, I'm going to have to go wash these out. Let me see what else I have to tell you guys before we roll out of here. So, I mean, let's see. I'll, here, this is 52% off. <laughs> okay. So I have these in every room of my house, in my car. So Sharpie markers. Mostly I use the fine point Sharpie, but there's the ultra fine, which I use a lot for artwork, more like the tip of a pen. The fine point is can you guys see that like that like that and then the book the thick tip on sale today 52 percent off i definitely snatch those up if you don't have them already that's my fine point but again i use every different sharpie that there is so and if you guys were with us in the very beginning i want to show my pumpkin one more time this is what we were working on the glow in the dark Pumpkin. Did you guys see that? I'm trying to see if anybody's. All right. So this is our glow in the dark pumpkin with the. I don't know where. Oh, here. Let me show you one more time before we go. We're going to close out. Tulip paint. Glow in the dark tulip paint. Love this stuff. Super fun. So it's fabric puffy paint, but you can use it on anything. Again, I wouldn't use it on a real pumpkin, but I would use it on a faux pumpkin. And it is great, especially if you have little kids and you don't want to carve a pumpkin. This would be a great activity to use. Doesn't have any odor, non-toxic, 
easy to use, great tip, really, really fun. That would be a great way to end. I could shut off all my lights. Okay, you ready? Hold on, I'm gonna shut. I have a bunch of lights here. So this that's not what I wanna do. That's not what I wanna do. I'm trying to shut it off. Okay, one ring light is off. I probably look a lot better with all, all these lights all over my face. <laughs> All right, let me shut this one off. It's getting dark. I almost think now the light looks better without all those lights on. You guys, this is what I'm talking about. I'm still learning technology, okay? Does it look better now with all those lights off? I had two ring lights on and my overhead light. I, I'm going to have to talk about my overhead light another day because that's also from Amazon and it's awesome. It comes with a remote control. It's not in my cart, I can't tell you, but it's over my head and has all these different settings. But look, I want to show you guys. Let's see if it glows. Well, now you got the light from my pump from my computer, but it really does glow. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Well, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Okay. My Tulip glow in the dark paint, my faux pumpkin, pumpkins, 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 pumpkin pie, pumpkin coffee, pumpkin bread, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin painting. What more could you ask for? All right, you guys, I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. Check out the link in the description. You guys can get free activities, free printable templates, free supply lists, and um, follow along with me. I'm artist at heart live on Amazon. Artist at Heart Paint Party on Facebook and YouTube. And I'm wishing you guys a wonderful October. Blessings to you, your family and friends, and prayers with Israel. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'm Denise. Bye, you guys.